Hi everybody, I'm Christina Mascari and I am back with another table makeover. Today I'm gonna to be doing an all wood look. I'm gonna be using water-based stain, which is safer and I like working with it a lot better. And I'm gonna show you why I never use oil-based stains anymore. So if you wanna see this kitchen table makeover, just keep watching. I've got the table out in the workshop so I can start working on it. This is my kitchen table, so it is very, very dirty. So the first thing I need to do is grab some of that white lightning and clean this whole thing. I'm gonna be sanding this down to bare wood and giving it a natural wood look. I'm really excited to show you this water-based stain from Dixie Belle. And my video today is sponsored by Dixie Belle, so you know what that means. There is a $100 gift card to Dixie Belle's website up for grabs, so make sure you stick around to the end of the video for details on how to enter. I've had this table for about five years. I pulled it off the side of the road. It is a Pottery Barn table. And last time I did it, obviously I was into the farmhouse style. So the top is very gray and weathered. And then the apron is very distressed. I love the shape of the table still. I just want it to fit into my space and my personal style a little bit more. So we're gonna strip all this back and give it a natural look. Um, I think it's gonna be fun. So my surface needs to be really, really clean before I start sanding because I don't want to push any of that grime or grease into the wood. I want it to be really clean before I start sanding. So I'm getting the scrubby sponge here and getting all the food bits and stuff off of here. Luckily, I know that I have not used any furniture polish or wax on this piece, so I don't have to worry about removing that. The soap is going to get the grime and the dirt off really well for me. I have some clear water in this water bottle, so I'm just gonna spritz this down and rinse it. I'm ready to start sanding and stripping this back to bare wood. When I originally did this makeover the first time, I used a guy like this, okay? An inexpensive, affordable sander. You can get the job done with something like this. But you guys know me, I have a couple of fancy sanders, so I'm gonna get this done a lot quicker by using my surf prep. I have it connected to my dust extractor, so I'm gonna have very little dust. I'm gonna use an 80 grit and just start sanding. gonna be worth it. I really like the color it is now, and if I could, I would just top coat it. But if you go to top coat raw wood like this, it is gonna yellow. So what I like to do is use an all natural stain. I know you guys have seen me use like a chalk paint mix where I take a chalk paint color and add water, but today I'm just going to use the Dixie Belle Voodoo Gel Stain. This is a water-based stain, so it's gonna give me the same effect as using a chalk paint wash. What I love about using a water-based stain is it's a lot safer for you. You're not gonna have those odors, all those chemicals, and your rags are not going to be flammable and run the risk of combusting and causing flames. Nobody wants that. And this dries a lot faster. When I use an oil-based stain, I have to top wait like 72 hours to be able to top coat it. My family wants to eat on this table, so we don't wanna wait that long. So using a water-based stain, I'm gonna be able to top coat this in a matter of hours. 
The way I like to apply this is do a slip coat of water like this. That's just gonna help with my open time and help it evenly spread out. And then there's a bunch of different ways you can put it on, but I really like using an applicator pad like this. It just helps get it nice and even, but you could use a, um, a foam brush, you could use a paintbrush, anything that works for you. And as I'm putting it on, you can really see how it's taking that yellow away. That's what I want it to do. I want it to be a beautiful, natural color, but I don't want any of that yellow. want to go with the grain and because this is more like paint it's a little bit more opaque um, if you get any of those lines they're just gonna look like wood as long as you stay with the grain and I really don't wipe this back a ton I let it sit on there and dry I kind of like it full strength like this but if you have, any, have anything like pooling you can just use a clean lint free cloth like this and just wipe back any excess I have let this dry overnight. Once this dried, this color is absolute perfection. I've never got to use this color stain before and I knew I was gonna love it. So it has taken all that gray out. I just have a beautiful natural wood look. So I'm gonna try to maintain that as much as possible. Before I top coat though, when you do this water-based stain, it feels a little rough. Um, so before I put my top coat on, I'm just gonna sand it back a little bit with a really smooth sanding sponge. And that's gonna make it nice and smooth and prepare it for my top coat. This is a very high traffic piece. This is my kitchen table. We eat here three to four, maybe five times a day. I'm gonna use gator hide because this is perfect for high traffic areas like this. And I'm gonna use a sponge to apply it. You just wanna make sure that it's mixed up really well. I don't like to shake it because that can get air bubbles and stuff in it. And then I like to pour it on a paper plate and that can help me get the excess off. And I'm going to put it on the table in long strokes. great for flat surfaces but getting in these little corners like this and getting up to the edge of the table I'm just using my little synthetic mini and pushing it into those corners and then I can feather everything out with my sponge I've let this dry for two hours. Now I'm gonna come in with that same sanding sponge that I started off with, do a light sanding in between this coat. The first coat is a little bit streaky. That's totally normal. Don't freak out if you see that happen. When you come in and do your second coat and even your third coat, you're gonna see that coverage even out.
Finishing touch, I wanna to take this galvanized pool and make it match the table that I've just redone. So I'm gonna use some gilding wax in the color bronze. Just to remind you, here is the farmhouse dining table we started off with, and here it is now. I love the way this table turned out. That gray tone is gone. The farmhouse look is gone. It just has a more neutral look that is gonna just fit with anything. I still have chairs to pick out. I wanna get a new light. I wanna do some art on this wall, so you guys stick around for that, but I am in love with my new table. Thanks for sticking around to the end of this video. There is a gift card. Is that why you're still here? There's a $100 gift card to Dixie Bell. It's really easy to enter. You guys know the drill by now. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Go subscribe to Dixie Bell's YouTube channel. Leave a comment below letting me know which table you like better, the farmhouse or the new neutral beauty. And the last thing you have to do is go subscribe to my newsletter. That's gonna be linked down in the description box. Um, we have been getting lots of spam, so we are going to contact you via your email address from that newsletter. I will not contact you on WhatsApp or Telegram or ask you to text me, so please just ignore all those comments. I try to clean them out, but I'm trying to keep you safe, so don't correspond with me that way. We will email the winner in a couple of weeks, so good luck. Thanks for being here, you guys. I will be back soon with another project. Take care until then, and I will see you next time.